Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Cisco Marketing. I'm here today with Andrew and Jay Hello. for Engineers Unplugged. So they're going to be talking about Hitachi UCP with Cisco. I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you guys excited? Let's go. Delirious. Delirious. Let's roll. Okay. All right. So Andrew, um, you. Uh, had a major announcement today okay. with Cisco and Hitachi with the Hitachi UCP. Can you give us a broad picture of what this is and, and what it is and, and also your involvement in it? Right, so UCP is our unified compute platform and as part of that in our UCP Select, we are enhancing our partnership with Cisco and basically came out with the Cisco validated design for UCS servers, Nexus or MDS, Interconnect, and the VSP or our virtual storage platform at the storage layer. So can you draw it out, what does it look like, if sure. you're just at a high level? Yeah, sure. So at the top, it's a three-tier model. So at the top we have UCS. A couple of interconnects into Nexus or MDS. And then down to VSP. So our virtual storage platform. And so what this really enables, yeah, it allows, we have a lot of customers who basically come to us and said, we like the VSP storage, it's stable, we can virtualize our existing assets, we get a lot of ROI out of it. But we have Nexus Fabric and we have UCS. And you guys now, with I think you guys have 16,000 unique customers, we just get a lot of demand for UCS. So we came together as two companies and we said, okay, let's validate this entire architecture. So I'm the product manager for Cisco and the data networks product line within HDS, so this is one of the thing that I own. So this is obviously really exciting for customers so they know they have a project and a product that will just work um, right out of the box, right. and they, they have uh, very little of their own magic sauce that they have to put into play. So, but what what is special about this as opposed to something else that they could do? I mean, why, why this? Well, the, the big thing with this is that it's validated. You know, we really came out, we said, look, let's make a validated design. And if you want to add one or more element on top of this, was to tie VMware vSphere. So when you get that entire stack, you've got an entire virtualization architecture that you can leverage. So if you want to say, look, VMware, high random I.O. So you want to scale out your storage? Fine. You want to scale out your fabric? Fine. You want to scale out your server and compute? Fine. So at each layer, you can really fine tune depending on what, what kind of apps you're dealing with, what you want to do. So we have a lot of use cases around things like VDI, server scale out. So it also leverages like our HTTP or our dynamic pooling. So you can basically stretch all these VMs and really utilize your storage and get great performance. Well, what kind of performance are we talking about then? So, I mean, we haven't done any formal numbers, but we are, we are doing quite well, at least within the, the testing in your labs. Well, that's what they're there for, right? That is, hey, we appreciate it. So when we, when we look at this, what kind, of, um, what kind of use cases do your customers, our customers, uh, tend to think about putting this kind of environment into play? So VMware, obviously, just anything VM, but if you want to take some, you have multi-tenancy. And that's leveraging you know, your resource and personality things there, your vSAN technology as well as our resource group. So you can essentially take this and just carve it up into, you know, if you have a cloud service provider model, let's say, cloud one, cloud two, cloud three, and essentially partition you know, you, from your compute through your network to your storage. Another one, obviously, is VDI, uh, the server scale out. But you know, the big thing is the customers just demand this. Yeah, you know, we just have a lot of good mutual customers who are running your compute and your network with our storage. And it's really just taking the partnership to that next level and giving them a validated architecture. So if we look at a roadmap going forward, and I don't know if you heard about the HUS VM announcement that we did last week. Uh, I heard of it, but, but I think it'd be probably a good idea to go ahead and, and summarize. So that's our tier 1.5 storage platform. So, it so tier 1.5, you're going to have to explain that, I think. So tier, it's the various tiers. Tier one is our VSP. Tier 1.5, HUSVM. 
and then tier two is our HUS, or our mid-range platform. So what this tier 1.5 does, it bridges the gap. It takes a lot of our enterprise features and puts them down into more of an entry enterprise model. It takes that a lot more value to the customer in a smaller package. Say, especially in EMEA where you have smaller enterprises, this box is a very good fit or in APAC or in the emerging brick countries. Basically getting that enterprise into more and more shops in a different tier than we would normally be selling into. So let me ask a potentially stupid question. <laughs> So with with the HS, uh, HUS VM and the VSP, can you can you grow into one to the other, or can you have them mix and match? Or I mean, you can mix and match. One can virtualize the other. I mean, a lot of times what we have with this and even this virtualization platforms. So whatever your competitor storage you may have or legacy storage you may have, you park it behind either of these two, and you get the same great benefits. Well, that's excellent. So um, wow, I, that well, that's obviously very exciting. So. With, uh, is this a validated design as well? So, if you look at our roadmap, we're looking at these two. Okay. Then we've got various apps that we're looking at, as well as just, you know, VDI is obviously high on the list. Also, with our HNAS platform, something else that we're looking at to leverage as well. So, there's a lot in the pipeline with Cisco, and we're really excited relationship-wise and technology-wise of where this is going. Brilliant, excellent. Um, I honestly can't think of any additional questions at this time. <laughs> I'm feeling, feeling kind of nervous about that, but. <laughs> Don't worry, viewers, I've got something. Okay. Okay, we're in a single magic marker situation. Uh -oh. So we all know it's unicorn time. <laughs> and this is a great example, great collaboration here. They've just drawn out. So collaborative unicorn, go, go. Let's see what they've got. All right. What are we going to have? Right, who's taking which part? Viewers, we're going to be voting. Oh, 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 he has thrown down the gauntlet. Oh, I like it. I'm enjoying this more. Wow, this is true collaboration. I know, it's a lot of pressure. How do you think he's doing, Jay? I think he needs a dentist. <laughs> this unicorn. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Oh. <laughs> Viewers, I, I, I am out of words. I, this is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I'm rarely speechless, but this is one of those occasions. So, um, viewers, we usually vote which unicorn is best, but I think you should tell me: is this the most? Modern unicorn you've ever seen. It's Picasso. Picasso. Definitely. This is a Picasso corn. All right. Thank you so much, right. guys, for being on here. And uh, um, so, Engineers Unplugged, check us out. <laughs>